Well, CBS4 is honoring black history, and we have the remarkable story of a Hoosier who worked for years to make sure an act of valor was not forgotten. His efforts resulted in the awarding of a Medal of Honor and serves as proof that slaves earned their freedom in the Civil War. My grandfather was born in uh, 1842. He became what was known as a perfect soldier. He was just very fortunate that he did not get killed. Andrew Jackson Smith's remarkable story of valor was almost lost to history. This tells the story. It lives on forever now, thanks to the efforts of his family, particularly his grandson, Andrew Bowman. He escaped to Massachusetts. Bowman is retired now on the northwest side of Indianapolis, but for years he fought to get his grandfather's heroism recognized for what it is. The story of a runaway slave who fought so bravely he was awarded his nation's highest military honor. I was told that it would never happen. And that's when I really wanted to prove a rock. Bowman first heard his grandfather's story from his Aunt Carruth. She had saved the historic documents written soon after the Civil War that verified Andrew Smith's heroism. And these are individual letters. The runaway slave joined the Union Army after the Emancipation Proclamation. He served in the 55th Massachusetts Regiment in the Battle of Honey Hill in South Carolina. During a Confederate ambush, both of the regiment's color bearers were struck down. Andrew Smith picked up both flags and led the counterattack himself. Now you have to realize the color bearer was out front most of the time. And when the color bearer was out front, he became a, a major target. He started thinking about what's the, what's the alternative? He either become a slave or he become brave. Other soldiers who performed similar acts of valor were honored immediately. His grandson suspects the color of Andrew Smith's skin kept his heroism hidden. I couldn't prove it, and it, was, it would be impossible to prove, but you know, we knew that the time and the place that there was possibility. After years of research and lobbying, Bowman and his Aunt Carruth received Smith's Medal of Honor from President Bill Clinton, 136 years after Smith had served. At the time, the longest delayed honor in American history. I was totally elated. I could not believe that this was happening, and I could not, could not believe I was in the Oval Office. In the years after, Bowman would dress in a Union color bearer's uniform and tell his grandfather's story at events at Crown Hill Cemetery and schools all across Indiana. He even wrote a book about it called Carrying the Colors. His message, no one gave America's slaves their freedom. They fought for it and won it. It was important that we give back to our kids something that of value, and one of the things to give them, the best value we can give them is our history. Andrew Jackson Smith wasn't the only veteran recognized in the White House that day. The family of Teddy Roosevelt also received his Medal of Honor, meaning the family of slaves shared the spotlight with the family of a U.S. president. If you have missed any of our Honoring Black History stories, you can watch them online at CBS4Indy.com. Just look under the News tab on the top of our homepage. All